Hey guys, it's Bethany. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this makeup look. Um, thank you so much to everybody who subscribed to my channel because of my last few videos. Um, my drugstore makeup haul and because of my best of 2012 tag video. Um, you know, it really does make me happy knowing that people like my videos and having your guys' support. So, you know, this week I gained like I think I gained like three or four subscribers and it made me really happy. So thank you so much to you guys and to everybody else that has already subscribed to my videos and to all of you guys watching. Um, I decided to do this makeup video because of you guys. And um, yeah, so I just took those subscriptions as like something that like you guys liked it. So um, this is the makeup look that I wore in my drugstore makeup haul. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to do that now. Please bear with me because this is the first makeup tutorial that I've ever done. Um, I'm super excited and yeah, I just started like buying makeup and stuff like that maybe like half a year ago so um, I think it's really fun and yeah, I just had a lot of fun like experimenting with it and hopefully you guys will keep on watching my videos and see my progress and how I grow. So I already put a moisturizer all over my face. I used the Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer with sunscreen. Because I've been picking on my face, which I know I'm not supposed to do, but yeah, I've been picking on my face a little bit today, so um, in my drugstore makeup haul, I actually used a Maybelline Mineral Powder, but instead of using that today, since I'm going to work and I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I'm actually going to use a liquid foundation, so I'm going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready, and this one is in color number 6, medium beige, and I'm just going to be applying it with this e.l.f. powder blush. Elf powder brush. I'm just gonna use one pump and I'm just gonna dab a little bit into the brush like that and then I'm just gonna put it on my face. Are any of you guys sick right now? Because I feel like so many people are sick right now. Um, I was sick the last couple of days but I felt more like nauseous. So I was just in bed for like two days straight, just like watching movies by myself. Usually when I decide to wear eyeshadow, I usually put the eyeshadow on first in case it gets messy and I have followed and stuff like that. But you know, it really just depends on which product I pick up first. So today I ended up putting the foundation on first. So um, I guess we'll move on to the eyes now. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be starting off with out with is the uh, e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. So I just started off with makeup maybe like half a year ago so I did buy the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette and that's what I usually use to try out makeup and like different colors and combinations and stuff to see what looks good with eyeshadow. But today um, I'm going to be using this Lan Lancome palette which I got from my aunt. I think she got it as a sample or something. It's just a quad. White, a light brown, a darker brown and then a gold. So I'm just going to start off with this MAC brush. I got these MAC brushes from my boyfriend's mom for Christmas last year so that's when I was like I have to learn how to do makeup because I don't know how to use any of these brushes so um, this is the MAC 163S brush I don't know if that means anything but it's just like this I don't know anything about eyeshadow brushes it's like this fat brush and I'm just gonna be putting it underneath my brow I'm just gonna be taking this gold color here and I'm gonna put that all over my lid with this e.l.f eyeshadow C brush I am just gonna take this light brown color here with okay let's try this brush I haven't used this brush yet usually I use this Mac 165 s brush which is like this little brush and I usually use that in my crease but since I did buy this um, Sonia Kashuk pointed blending brush, I'm going to try this one. So just taking a little bit of that brown. I'm going to be taking the MAC 164S brush. And it's just like this flat brush flat wide eyeshadow brush and this the darkest color in the palette here which is like this chocolate brown color. I'm just going to be putting it on the tip and I'm just going to be applying it in the corner and then 
um, up to the middle of the crease. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of this dark brown, a little bit of the gold, and I'm just going to um, smudge it underneath my lower lash. So for the eyeliner, I'm using the e.l.f. Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. And this is the one that I always use whenever I put on like eyeshadow, so... Gonna curl my eyelashes. I actually pulled an eyelash. Okay, so for mascara, I'm gonna be using these two. Um, Great Lashes by Maybelline. I'm going to be using, um, first I'm going to just be using the Great Lash by Maybelline and then I'm going to be using the Lots of Lashes. And yeah, so I'm just going to use both of those. I start off with a waterproof one. So while that mascara is drying, I'm just going to finish up the rest of my face. And I'm going to add some concealer to all those spots that I wasn't supposed to pick at today. So um, for concealer, I'm using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is in color number 50, Neutralizer. Okay, so I'm just going to be using my ring finger to dab this all in. What do you guys think is like the worst thing about being sick, or the worst kind of sick? Like runny nose, dry cough, sore throat? <laughs> oh my gosh. I actually like didn't have a runny nose yesterday, but I went out with my boyfriend. <laughs> and his friend from out of town who are both so sick oh my goodness we went out for bubble tea and they were coughing the whole time and I was like super paranoid about getting sick and usually like I'm not scared or I'm not worried at all oh my gosh my nose is going to be rough so for blush I am using the elf blush in twinkle pink and I'm using this blush with the elf blush brush Now I'm going to just finish it off with some e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I'm just using a lot of e.l.f. products. See, because yeah, I just like bought a bunch of e.l.f. stuff that I wanted to try, see if I'd like it, and you know, it's like so cheap, so if you're starting off with makeup, I think it's a really good idea. And um, I'm just taking a little bit of it off of this powder puff thingy mabobber onto this MAC um, 161S brush, and I'm just going to dab it on my T-zone, because that's where I get so oily, and then the rest of my face too. So now let's just go back to the eyes, and now I'm just going to be using the lots of lashes one. Um, sometimes I like to curl my lashes again before I put on mascara, but today I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the eyebrows, and for my eyebrows, I would like to use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Um, this one's in color light, so for this, I use the gel side. Mostly I use the gel side. Sometimes I also add in like the powder, but yeah, so I just use the applicator that comes with it. I use the angled side for the gel. So I hope that you guys like this look. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned a few tips and, um, you know, because I'm just starting out, so... I don't know if you really learned anything, but hopefully you did. I say this in all my videos, but I truly mean it. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking and watching my video and for commenting. So yeah, just thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great week and just take care. And don't get sick. <laughs> Bye.